is a six-man tag team match. About to make their way to the ring, they are the team of David Young, Felix Skipper, and Simon Diamond. They are the Diamonds in the rough. I'll tell you what, this is the team that I've been expecting big things from from the moment they started. You got a, a man with the drive and the competitiveness of Simon Diamond, and he's gone out. He's turned David Young around. He's rebuilding prime time Felix Skipper into the champion that he once was. Don't be surprised, your Mike, if this team doesn't become a major force in the tag team division. The experience of Simon Diamond, combined with the athletic ability of primetime Ilix Skipper and David Young, they form the Diamonds in the Rock. And introducing their opponents, first of all, from Puerto Rico, this is on, Apollo! by the trio of the masked man, the cult favorite here in the Impact Zone, Shark Boy, as well as the superstar from Puerto Rico, Apollo, and the tag team partner, Sonny Siaki. This is going to be all about cohesion. This is going to be about which group works together the best. And you realize that the Diamonds are up may have an advantage in the situation. Although Apollo and Siaki lately together have been devastating. They've got so much raw skill. I wonder how Shark Boy's gonna fit in that equation, but he gives him a little bit of a, a speed factor, something a little different than what the Diamonds and Rough are used to. Simon Diamond, the 15 plus year veteran of professional wrestling, deciding to take primetime Elix Skipper and David Young under his wing. He sees them as Diamonds in the Rough. Let's be very honest. David Young, Elix Skipper, over the course of the past several months, they have not had the best one loss record in TNA. But Simon Diamond thinks that when he sees something in it, thinks that he can bring out that potential, he knows that they have that great athletic ability, and he thinks he can form them and turn them into a winning combination. And we've seen it with athletic teams. You go through a rebuilding process, you've got to break them down, and then you build them back up, and you can see that lately. Even though they've been losing, you can see how better the Diamonds and Rough have been getting. And how about Notre Dame's football team? You know how much Simon Diamond is such a big fan of the Fighting Irish. We're seeing that with the Notre Dame football team under their new head coach, Charlie Weiss. A very similar situation to Simon Diamond and his Diamonds in the Rough. Well, he told me he gets almost all his inspiration from Charlie Weiss and how he's just so offensive-minded and what he's done to that program. And that's what he's trying to do with this program. And right now, I like how he's taking the initiative. He's going out. He's not one of those kind of leaders that sits on the sideline. He goes out first to let David Young and the prime time the skipper know that, hey, I'm your leader. I can do it too. Attempt at the DSD, the Dead Sea drop out of the corner. Oh, the power right there. Countered and reversed. And wow. High, high hip toss style takeover by Diamond. Goes to drop the leg, but Shark Boy moves out of the way and avoids the contact. Well, that's that quickness I was talking about that Shark Boy gives you. And here oh, comes the bite. He's got it right there. It's just humiliating. You ask anybody that's in a match with Shark Boy, and the last thing they'll tell you they want to do is get bitten on the butt in front of a crowd. Takes you out of your game, causes you to lose your focus. Something that we saw from that pep talk earlier where Simon Diamond was trying to fire up. This man, Elix Skipper and David Young, drop toe hold, takes down Skipper. I'll tell you what, great move on the part of Shark Boy right there. Skipper was coming in just full force. Shark Boy again, out caught him and was able to get the drop toe hold. But now the power and the strength of primetime Elix Skipper is taking effect. Don, we still do not have words as to the opponent for NWA World's Heavyweight Championship, Jerry. We know that championship committee member, Larry Zabisco, will have an announcement for us. We just don't know when that announcement's going to come, and we don't know who the opponent's going to be, but we do know that Jared will defend the title tonight at Bound for Glory. And again, I, I mentioned it earlier, what's got to be going through the champion's mind right now? He has no idea who he's supposed to be preparing for. It can go both ways. Pin attempt by Apollo, but Skipper able to power out before the three count. I'll tell you what, this guy's so big and he's so strong. I mean, Apollo, I mean, you, look how well built that Skipper is, and you look at him next to Apollo, and nice kick right there in the face. He has just got so much power. Look at this. Oh, man, that was wicked. Half Nelson slam. Quick pin attempt by Apollo. 
Wait a minute, Simon Diamond distracting the referee, senior official Rudy Charles, just as Rudy went down to make the three count for the pin by Apollo. Keep your eyes on David Young up on the corner. Oh, nice plan right there. Here comes Young, and Apollo doesn't see him, and Young hits him with the elbow. Well, you know that had to be part of Simon Diamond's game plan, part of his strategy, taking the referee away from the scene, distracting him. There was no tag by David Young, but he hit that top rope elbow. A little reverse lab right there, just kind of a, a reversal of direction, the referee not realizing what's going on, and that's the teamwork, and that's what we're talking about. And they've got Apollo just bottled up right there, and they spin it around and spin it down. We'll talk about teamwork, talk about a double team, just what we saw from Skipper and Young, and the Diamonds and the Ruff. They are really taking control of this six-man tag. Apollo just not able to use his size and strength in there right now. It seems like he's got two on one on him every time, and you can see the quickness of the tags now with the Diamonds and the Ruff. As they're starting to see their game plan come together. Oh, nice shot by Skipper. He just kind of turned him inside out. Almost as if he was going to leapfrog over, and Skipper cut him with a shoulder block, then hooks the near leg, goes for the cover, just barely gains a two count. That'll give you a wicked Charlie horse right there. I mean, think about that. I mean, that's, that's strength when you can put a guy the size of Apollo and turn him upside down like that. Oh! Man. Apollo elevating Skipper high into the air and then catching him with the cutter on the way down. Oh, man, that hurt. It was a desperation move. Apollo slow to react, now finally tags in Sonny Siaki. You talk about the fresh man on a roll, and it's Siaki with right hands and clotheslines. I'll tell you what, I just get more impressed with Siaki every time I see him. This just guy's got so much energy, so much strength, and man, is he, got on, is he on fire right now. Quick pin attempt by Siaki, broken up by Skipper. Shark Boy can't take it. He's in the ring, but it's not helping his partner any, because referee Rudy Charles is once again distracted. Siaki's still fighting back against Skipper. Yeah, that's where not working together comes into play. Shark Boy should realize that he's not doing Siaki any good by keeping the ref's focus away from him. That just comes from not working together. Oh, the force that David Young gets Siaki into the turnbuckle. Opportunity now for Apollo to put David Young away. Look at this. Skipper comes right at the back and then crashed into Siaki. You can see Siaki right there, Dave, trying to figure out kind of where he's at, what corner. Now he's going through the ropes. I think going to go after Skipper. You're right. Siaki and Skipper battle on the arena floor. Shark boy. Here he comes. Cross body block on Skipper. Skipper barely getting his arms up to deflect the, the force of the new which Simon Diamond telling David Young to go over. Look at the size of this guy. Here he goes. Oh my gosh. He piped it out like a bowling ball. Springing off the middle rope. David Young took it down and then Simon Diamond walked right into the Apollo super kick. That's a big boot too, man. Oh, wait a minute, here goes Apollo. Simon Diamond now grabbed the pile and slammed his head into the steel rail. Into the ring post, I mean, and oh man, now you just see it's just all broken loose. And Shark Boy taking his shot at the leader of the Diamonds in the Rough. Siaki and Skipper battling in the ring. Other action outside as well. Elevated up is ah, Siaki into the spine buster by Young. Ooh, he's done it. The Diamonds in the Rough win it. The winners of the match, the Diamonds in the Rough. See the progression with this team, and what a way to set it up! And that spine buster that David Young does is so wicked, and it just knocks the breath out of you so fast that it's hard to recover in time to get your shoulders up. How about Simon Diamond and the influence that he has over Elix Skipper and David Young as the Diamonds in the Rough gained a victory at Bound for Glory?